Hi, this is Kevin Thomas with The Real Kev Show. I've been trying to get my show back out on the road, but the pandemic stopped so many things. But I couldn't resist at least using this Zoom opportunity to interview this guy whose movie that I just love. His name is Corey Sherman. And you must, must, must see his film, Big Boys. Oh my God, Corey, I love your movie. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear it. And you know what, Corey? Although, as you saw earlier, I am an award winner. Thank you. Um, but I haven't seen all the movies at Frameline yet. I'm going to watch many of them before I write stories. But so far, yours is my favorite. Oh, well, wow. I really so, appreciate that. And since a lot of people haven't seen it yet, but they can have the opportunity on June 17th to go to the Castro Theater or starting June 24th, they could stream it. But go to the Castro Theater because yeah. Corp is going to be there, right? I'll be there. So many of our the like the filmmakers I made the movie with will be there. It's going to be a good time. And since obviously it's a new movie that I am excited about, tell us tell us about this film. Sure. So Big Boys is a coming of age comedy about Jamie, who's a 14 year old boy who's young and uh, he's smart and he's precocious and he's really passionate about cooking and he's still in, in the phase of sort of figuring himself out. And he goes on a family camping trip with his older cousin and his older brother and his older cousin brings along her boyfriend. And at first he's upset because he really loves this cousin and he wanted to just spend like hangout time with just her and he feels like he's gonna get pushed to the side. But then he meets the boyfriend and he's like, oh, actually this guy is pretty cool. And he actually finds himself really wanting to impress him and sort of be his best friend until he starts to realize like, oh, I actually think maybe I want more than just a best friendship from this guy. I actually think I have a crush on this guy. And it's the first time that Jamie's let himself go there emotionally where he's like, oh, I, I'm starting to feel these things and I can't repress them anymore. Um, because they're so powerful and and thrilling and joyful, but also really scary. And so it's about him dealing with that whole roller coaster of emotion over this weekend camping trip while trying to get closer to this boyfriend as close as he can get, um, despite the 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 sort of impossibility of the crush. It's all about sort of like having that kind of unrequited crush that can't really go anywhere. The boyfriend is is almost twice his age, he's straight, he's dating his cousin, but that doesn't stop Jamie from wanting to get closer to him. I know, and you know, if this was not at frame line, I wouldn't necessarily think it's necessarily a gay movie because mm -hmm. I mean, he's still exploring. I mean, of course we in the know, we gays kind of like, I felt like it's, you were filming my story. I thought like, oh my God, Corey's too young to have followed me around as a child. How did he know? But, um, <laughs> You know, like I when I started laughing when you're describing it because there's that scene about like I forgot the exact words, but oh, you're gonna be making hamburgers. What's your um what's your spice palette gonna be? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He brings spices on the camping trip. Yeah. And this is your dir your writing and directorial feature debut, am I correct? Yeah. How long have you been working on this movie? I've been working on it for two years. Uh, yeah, I, I had the idea um, actually on a family camping trip with my brother and my dad, and it was based on sort of a desire to tell a story that I'd had for a long time, honestly, that I'd had since high school when I was dealing with feelings and experiences that are similar to what Jamie's going through in this movie. Um, and when I when the idea sort of clicked into place of like, oh, you could tell this story that's just set over one weekend camping about this like meeting this stranger that ignites something in you and allows you to face something really big about yourself. Um, I was like, oh, that would be a great way to tell this story that I've really been wanting to tell for a very long time, which is about being young and, and having unrequited queer love for somebody and that being exciting, but also very painful and ultimately teaching you a lot about yourself and allowing you to come into your own and develop courage and self-acceptance, even if you're not getting the sort of happily ever, ever after ending that you hope for. It's like, just because you can't, um, you know, get with this person doesn't mean that you can't learn a lot and grow from the experience. And so when I had the idea, I was like, oh, okay, that, that, that would be a good way to tell that story. And then 
it, I, I wrote it pretty quickly. I mean, it came out pretty quickly just because it was so you wrote many. it during the pandemic since you said two years. Yeah, yeah. I wrote it in the second half of 2021. And um, yeah, I mean, there were just so many details and characters and experiences that I had that I were clearly just like ready to come out. And I was so excited because this was like, I felt a really good package for them. And uh, and then, you know, I, I found people I wanted to make the movie with and it was just like off to the off to the races. And I'm going to guess that cooking is one of your passions, not only because your character seems impressed with spices and cooking, but when I looked you up, you also had a small part in Where the Bears Are and something to do with cooking in that show, correct? That's so true, yeah. Well, I, I actually play, <laughs> play a director of a cooking show on Where the Bears Are. So it's all, it's all part of, it's all connected. Okay, so you you yeah. you like cooking and um that I like cooking a lot. I'm nowhere near like I'm not as much of like a pro or a savant as I wanted Jamie to be. Uh, oh, Jamie's going to have his own show. Yeah, where did exactly. You find that amazing young actor. He was amazing. I'm so glad you thought so. I I agree. Like I I still it's still crazy to me that we ended up working with him that we in that he you know he auditioned for the role and that it all worked out this way because I, I just truly could not picture somebody playing that role better or having more insight into that character's mind or bringing more nuance and such a specific sense of humor to that person it's yeah I, I'm so glad you like the performance because oh I, did. I, I I really I I can actually watch this again and a lot of times I mean, I am like knee deep in watching movies, so I have a st story to write before they come out. But I'm almost yeah. ready to watch yours again. That's so sweet of you to say. I'm. I, that's a huge compliment because, like, a movie that's rewatchable. I know for me, a movie that I want to rewatch is one that you know is it, it you know has the like the, those movies. Um, I guess I guess I could say like I I really wanted to make something that felt very watchable that was like a rich and nuanced story but also you know was a fun and funny experience and that would be the kind of thing where you could be like oh I could put that on again so to hear you say that is a huge huge compliment well I mean I mean it and also um I don't know if you've noticed I'm a big hairy man and our our love interest per se he's not really a love interest but yeah brush is kind of in the bear world yeah. I mean, where did we find that there? <laughs> David also auditioned. Um, and I just thought he was perfect for the role. And I, I mean, I always knew the, the role was written for a bigger guy. That was really important to yeah, me. Yeah, big boys, hello. It's in the title. Yes. Yeah. We can't, there, there's no going back now. It, like, that was another part of this story that I was really excited to tell, which was to make the... The, yeah, like you're saying, like the love interest type role, a bigger guy. And for the movie to take that guy seriously and not treat him as the butt of the joke, but show that he's really attractive and show Jamie, it's like, oh, in the future, like, you know, like you, like, like you can look at your body type and it's not something to be ashamed of. And by Jamie experiencing attraction to a bigger guy, he can sort of see like, oh, I'm not so bad myself. Like I, I can have genuine, like, respect and pride in the way that I look as well. And it, this is sort of like the boost that he needed, I think, to come into more just like self-acceptance about the way that he looks. And I wanted the movie to really celebrate that because I, um, it wasn't something that I was seeing a ton of out there. And I think that there's a lot of big people out there and there's a lot of people who are attracted to big people out there. And I wanted to make a movie that really just like reveled in the joy of bigger people. Well, we appreciate it. At least I'm representing one of the bigger people. But it, no, it, everything you said was just so true. It, it, there's no fat shaming. Um, it, there's so much acceptance. This movie comes from a place of joy and love. And in today's world where so many things are going wrong out there, which isn't my area to talk about right now, we need a fun, uplifting, inventive, creative movie. And we got that from you. And on behalf of filmgoers everywhere who, and I watch tons of movies, I applaud you and I appreciate you. And I am gonna make people go June 17th, I think 3.30 PM yeah. at the Castro Theater, 
you could buy tickets at frameline.org. And if you're not in the Bay Area and you can't go, you could start streaming it, bring all your friends over, pop the corn. Actually, a fun challenge would be, since um, our character likes to cook, when you pop the corn, have a variety of spices. Yes, I love that so idea. People can compare and contrast the different ways of their popcorn. <laughs> That's perfect. Corey, 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 you're my new film best friend. So I can't wait for this again and your other projects. Thank you so much, Kevin. It was really fun talking to you. And really, I really appreciate it. I'm really glad you liked the movie. I did. I did. I'm going again. Maybe you'll see me on June 17th. Please. Would love that. Okay. Well, for now, let's say goodbye. Okay. Great. Oops, I hit all the wrong buttons. I'm trying to stop this. <laughs>